building a good website can take weeks, even months. And if you're paying someone to do it, it could cost you thousands of dollars. You know what they say, people who have time do not have money and people who have money do not have time. But what if you don't have either? Then you have the option to build your website with AI. An AI website builder is a tool that can do all of the work for you. You just give it the instructions and it will start creating the website all by itself. These AI website builders promise to do an amazing job for a fraction of the price that you would pay a developer. And time-wise, it takes minutes instead of months. But are they actually any good? So I went on There's an AI for that, the biggest website for AI tools in the world, and I made a list of these five AI tools that claim to build you the best websites. Base44, Rocket, Lovable, LimeCube, and finally, Biela. We're gonna put them to the test. Each of them will get the same exact set of instructions, and we're gonna compare them to see which one creates the best website. By the end of this video, you'll clearly see the difference, and you will definitely know what tool to go with when you're building your website. First of all, let's set up our set of instructions, which is the prompt. We're gonna use the same exact prompt for all of the tools that we're gonna test in this video. I want them to build a modern, high-converting website for an AI automation agency. The name of the business, there's a flow for that. The primary goal of the website is to book a discovery call. I want the style to be modern, premium, minimal, lots of white space and clean grid. I want a sticky header with call to action. I wanted to create all of these eight pages, home, services, case studies, pricing, about, FAQ, contact, book a call, and privacy policy. And I gave it a very clear set of instructions for how to structure each page. This is for home, this is for service, so on and so forth. Final instructions, create SEO title and meta description for every page, keep terminology consistent, and final indication, generate me the full website with all of the pages, working navigation, cohesive design, and conversion-focused CTAs. First tool on our list, Base44, let's paste the entire prompt. As you can see right here on my screen, Base44 already started working, it's building all of the pages, and it looks like it's moving very fast. Okay, so for Base44, we have a few issues. I do not understand anything from this, but hey, it has a button that says Resolve with AI. The thing that I don't understand about these vibe coding platforms is why don't you resolve it with AI yourself? That's <laughs> that's the whole purpose. All right, looks like Base44 already gave us a first look. It looks very good. It's following our requests. It looks very clean. A lot of white space. Before, after, looking good, what we automate, how it works, B2B SaaS company. This is like a story and, and a featured case study, some kind of a testimonial area, CTA in the ending, and the footer part. Let's go back to the homepage. It was instant. When I click book a call, it's going to get me to the booking page literally instantly. This is very impressive. Let's see what happens when I fill everything up and click book a call. Oh, it's actually submitting it. Thanks for reaching out. What happens after you submit? Oh, wow. Let's see, case studies. So we have a page in which we have more pressure on the case study is not only the one on the homepage. Automated lead routing, AI email drafts, 15 hours saved weekly. The CTA is on every page and it works perfectly. Pricing, let's see. Starter, growth, scale. And when I click get started, it takes me instantly to the booking page. About page, the speed with which this website moves in, it's absolutely stunning. Anything you click, it gets you there instantly. This is very, very impressive. FAQ, let's see, do we have like a drop down or what is this? Okay, looking good everything instant here as well this website would have an amazing conversion rate because of the response time it looks very clean looks very good and i don't think there's anything this website cannot do of course there might be some things here and there that you might not want right now but this is the first iteration remember anything else you might want to change you can just put it here and use natural language for example the ready to automate cta section in the footer change the color of that to red and i purposely misspelled the section with sect in just to show you guys that it will understand. I'm talking about this section right here. It should take a few seconds. And there you go. It took 25 seconds. I think that as far as website generation goes, Base44 is the closest thing I can get to perfection. I absolutely love it. Guys, leave a comment below telling me what is your opinion about Base44's website. And I just want to let you know that even if you think it was very good, wait till you see Rocket. Second tool is Rocket. Let's paste everything and send it away. Rocket is already asking me a question. You can customize the framework if you want. Otherwise, it's using Next, TypeScript, or Tailwind CSS. Use default framework. There's one slight difference between Rocket and Base44, and that is the fact that after I pasted the prompt in Base44, it already started working. No questions asked, no nothing. Rocket asked me a question, which could be a good thing and a bad thing as well. But we're gonna see about that. Select the screens you wish to build from the list below. Token consumption is directly related to the number of screens generated. I mean, I clearly told it that I want all of the eight pages to be built. 
difficult. I don't understand why do I have to do this again manually, but it doesn't matter. I selected all of them, build my website. We're behind on time, Rocket. Okay, it seems like Rocket is working now. It'll take eight to 12 minutes to build as per your request. It took a bit more than 12 minutes for everything. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so this is what Rocket made. It looks very clean. It has a sticky header, very nice header section here. I love it. So we have some cards in here, services designed for practical results. It looks very good. And what I'm impressed about is that they are using these AI generated images that go really well with what they are trying to show you. This image doesn't really go that well with the first one. It's not on the same style, to be honest. It's good to have them, but I feel like there's some kind of a discrepancy between these images. And the third one is an AI generated image as well. It has a button here, view all case studies. Let's click on that. It's not responsive. Nothing happens there. Oh, it actually happens. It took a good like 20 seconds to get to this page. Okay, so this is like a case study page, which looks good. I, I might say it looks a bit better than the base 44 one. Why you might be asking yourself? Well, because we have real names here, which of course they are not real real, but they look much better this way. And we have some pretty cool numbers here, which show us percentages and time saved in hours, challenge, solution, view full case study. Okay, so this is bigger. We also have a testimonial from the CEO, which is Sarah Mitchell. This is an AI generated avatar. Well, it, it looks very good, I gotta say, and it's not done. We also have impact across industries, cost reduction, hours saved, efficiency gain, calculate your potential ROI. You can drag this so it actually works. Average hourly rate, $200, hours spent or repetitive task, automation potential, and it's giving you the time saved on a monthly basis and cost savings monthly. Wow, I'm very, very impressed by this page. This is much better than the first one, I gotta say. It's the best so far. B2B says, I mean, th these buttons are working. They don't have any case studies in them, but I'm sure it's very easy to create one from scratch. You just gotta give it a natural language prompt. Let's see pricing. What I don't like about this is that it takes around 10 seconds for every page to load. Let's see, start growing, what happens? So we have the lead form here. Let's fit it up, next step. It's a bit more complicated than the first one. I already see it has three or maybe even four steps. And when you have a lead form, you want it to be as simple as possible. Budget range, desired timeline. And we have some red errors here, but we didn't even start it to, to write. Of course, small thing, but hey, where did you hear about us? Nice touch, submit request. Oh, it doesn't let me submit it because it needs at least 20 characters. This is a nice touch, I would say. Okay, thank you for reaching out. Received your message. We'll get back to you within two to four hours. Cool. Our location. Wow. These guys are rocking it. I mean, it's definitely there. I would say that I like this just a teeny tiny bit than base 44. I would say like 1%. Let's see the about us page built by operators for operators. The journey, key milestones. Wow. <laughs> nice touch. Nice touch. I'm, I'm impressed. I gotta say AI generated images with hyperlinks to their LinkedIn profile. Okay. They got me. Mission, certifications, partnerships. Yeah, they did definitely got me. I would say 5% instead of 1%, but so far, this is my favorite. Next up, we have Lovable, which I gotta say has a lovely design. And I just noticed there's something about these vibe coding websites. All of them look the same. They, they have something in common. They give me the same vibe. Let's copy and paste and send away. Okay, it started working. It already set all of the bases. Now guys, let's see what Lovable has to offer. There's a flow for that. This is the header, the menu, looking good. A bit too empty, I would say. It, it seems like it's too empty. I know that I told it that I want a lot of white space, but this is too much. And I gave all of these tools the same exact prompt. So there's no excuse for it to give me something vastly different. We have some cards in here, how it works, audit, build, improve, featured case study. This looks similar to the ones in Rocket. Let's say view all case studies. It works, but for some reason, when I clicked on that, it got me to the footer of the page, which is not the best thing to have. It's more like a user experience thing. But, but hey, it matters. In this comparison, it matters. Get similar results. Okay, this is a nice touch. For every case study, they have a button that says get similar results. If you click on it, it takes you again to the footer of the page. It's not well optimized to take you to the lead form because that's the most important part where you want your lead to be in. Let's fill this up and click send message. Send message is a very weird way to frame a lead form because when you're doing lead generation, you want to have something like submit form. I never saw 
saw send message, but after I clicked it, it just says message sent will get back to you within 24 hours. I don't really like that. I would very much rather prefer to see something that the other tools showed me, something similar to that. This was kind of bland and I don't like this button here. Let's see the pricing page, 30 day value guarantee. Okay, the speed is good, it's looking good. We have the services here. When you're hovering with the cursor over them, they look good, the animations look good. I feel like this is a lazy website compared to the others. FAQ, we have the drop downs, everything looks good. I mean, why shouldn't it? This is not such a big thing. But I feel like Lovable is giving us a lazy version of both of these other tools that we've played with so far. And to be honest with you, I was not expecting this. I was expecting Lovable to match up the hype and to give me an even better website than these other tools. In comparison, it looks like a lazy website that doesn't have too many mistakes. Don't get me wrong, but it feels like less effort was put into it. This is how LimeCube looks like. Pretty simplistic. It doesn't look anything like the other tools that we tested. We have the possibility to buy a domain right here from the dashboard, which is a cool thing to have. Let's click on this button, create a new website. And for some reason, they are asking us to go through the same exact steps that we already been through five minutes ago. And again, it's asking us for our favorite color. And when I click next step, it's showing me the same robot again. This is not comfortable and pleasant so far. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I really do not enjoy using this so far. Okay, now in the time it took all of these other tools to finish, LimeCube is giving me the same animation with the same hyperlink, see your new website, and we didn't build anything yet. It's asking me to log in again, and it basically duplicated the same thing. If I click create a new website, it gets me to the same part. So I don't really understand what I have to do here. You saw all of these other websites, they were very to the point. You knew exactly how to use them. This doesn't feel so seamless. Subscribe to a plan. Okay, so right now we're on the free trial, which gives us a storage and web hosting, galleries, blogs, so on and so forth. The one pager is something that we're not currently eligible for. So let's choose the starter. And the free trial is in Australian dollars per month. And these other ones are in US dollars. This is pretty weird. Um, let's go back and let's try to click edit site. Oh, okay. So this is the actual website. I don't understand. It finished it in like 20 seconds. How is that possible? All of these other tools took around 12 to 16 minutes on average. Yeah, unfortunately, this looks like a PowerPoint presentation. Let's let's try to test it out. See capabilities. Nothing happens. Click, 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 click. Okay, nothing happens. This looks like a Canva for website building. I was wondering how could it build the entire website in like 20 seconds? But now I understand. Let's click on services. Oh, this is supposedly working. It's taking forever to load though. AI services that deliver measurable ROI. Generic picture. It has nothing to do with what we've done so far. Interesting. They advertise themselves as an AI website builder. This is definitely not what we're looking for. And finally, we have Biela. Let's paste the prompt and hit start. I love their animation. It looks like it's it's starting up a rocket. Okay, started working. And you can see the code here in the screen. Everything is on green here, guys. I think we can just check the website. Okay, we have a sticky header. Looks pretty clean. We have the before, after. I, I don't really like the animations of these. We have some cards, how it works. We have a featured case study. We can also read the full case studies here. Let's click on that. It takes us to the footer of this page. Yeah, it, it makes the same mistake as lovable. So when you're clicking on read the full case study, for example, it takes you to the footer of the page, which is annoying. It's not such a big mistake. It's easily fixable, but I, I don't understand why are they doing that? Okay, let's check out book a call. Also footer of the page. You see, this is annoying. And in a real life scenario, you would actually lose clients by doing this. Of course, you might say, well, you can just scroll up for one second and then there you go. Yeah, but you want the user experience to be seamless. You don't want anything like this happening. Please enter a URL. What's wrong? Um, what else do you want me to put there? Okay, this works. This is what I was expecting with the previous one. You see request received. We'll be in touch in one business day to schedule your discovery call. Okay, this is what you should get in a lead form. Let's check out the about page. It moves very fast though. So the about page is kind of what Lovable did. It, it seems like it's, it's a bit lazy to me compared to Rocket, for example, or Base44. This is too generic, founder, partner, developer. It could have went the extra mile and actually put some names in there, actually put some AI generated images, so on and so forth. Uh, let's check out the pricing page. Let's click get started. Takes us here. Case studies. We have three case studies. That's good. FAQ. We have the drop downs. Yeah, pretty fair. I would say it's a teeny tiny bit better than Lovable. 
available, but it still falls into the lazy category, I would say. So guys, I would say it was a pretty close one, but I think that we can all agree about who the winner is. Leave a comment below and tell me who do you think the winner of this video is. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out There's an AI for That, the biggest website for AI tools in the world. We have more than 42,000 listed AI tools. And while you're at it, don't forget to check out our newsletter, which is also the biggest AI newsletter in the world with more than 2.2 million daily readers. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day and until next time.